Yeah, basically, we did it over an 11 day period of release. Um, we released 640 kilograms of CO2, which is not a lot of CO2. It's less than the CO2 that you get when a plane just takes off from the runway, but it was enough for us to do the work we needed to do. They've been storing CO2 under the seabed for the last 20 years, um, over a million tons a year. So over 20 million tons over that time period. Uh, so we know it works. The initial evidence or the existing evidence I'm aware of is that provided that storage sites are well regulated and monitored, um, we would expect to keep 98% the CO2 in those storage facilities for 10,000 years or more. So we'd be looking at very, very low, sort of minuscule annual rates of leakage.